dear learner welcome all of you to this video class in today's class we will discuss the unit number 14 concept of set of the course logic 1 of BA first semester philosophy so in this class uh, first we will define what, what is a set and then we define set membership then we define uh, different types of sets. So first we define what is a set. Definition of a set. A set is a well-defined collection of or group of objects. Here uh, a well-defined collection we mean that there exists a rule with the help of which we should be able to decide whether any given objects belongs to or not belongs to the collection under consideration. Here a set is not simply a collection of objects. A set is a well-defined collection of objects. Now we understand this definition with the help of some examples. So first, uh, we understood some uh, we discuss some example of well defined collection. The collection of all course offered at Krishnakanta Hendik State Open, Open University. The collection of vowels in English alphabet. Collection of all states of, of India. The collection of first five prime numbers. The collection of reverse of India. So these uh, five collections are examples of well-defined collections. So therefore, this uh, five collection, we can say that these are the examples of set. But uh, there are some other examples which are not well-defined collections. The collection of bright learner learners in KKSSOU the collection of group, good cricket players of India, the collection of rich persons in India, the collection of most talented writer of India, the collection of most dangerous animals of the world. So these collections are not well defined. This means these collections are, are we cannot say uh, this uh, same elements belong to this set. So, for different persons, these collections vary. Hmm? So person to person, these collections may be vary. So therefore, these are not well-defined collections. So since these are not well-defined collections, so we cannot say that these collections are, are examples of set. So these collections are not examples of set. So for a set, it should be a well-defined collection of objects. So next, uh, we define set memberships. The objects in a set are called its member or elements. Sets are generally denoted by capital letters. So we use capital letters to, to denote a set. It is capital letter, capital A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z. Uh, this capital letter we can use for representation of a set. Elements of a set. The elements of a set are denoted by small letters. A, B, C, X, Y, Z, etc. The set memberships express set memberships is expressed by using Greek letter epsilon. This symbol is epsilon. So suppose X is the element of a set A. So then we write X epsilon A. This means X belongs to A. And if X is not an element of A, we can say that X does not belong to A. We can use this symbol. Here uh, one example uh, for set memberships. Suppose we consider a set A. Here uh, elements are 1, 3, 5, 6, Seven, nine. Then five. Here five belongs to this set, but six does not belongs to this set. So we can uh, denote this symbol epsilon. And so 
so 5 belongs to a but 6 does not belong to a then uh, we discuss uh, how to represent a set representation of a set so there are two methods for representing a set the first method is set tabular method in this method we list all the members of the set separating them by commas and closing them by is in curly bracket so this is the representations of a set in tabular form in tabular form we list all the members of the set and elements sep uh, separating the elements by a comma and enclosing them in curly bracket the examples here are some examples how can we represent the set in tabular method if a is a set of prime number less than 15 here a is a collection of all prime number less than 15 then we can represent this set in tabular form this way a so prime all prime number less than 15 so we start from 2 2 3 5 7 11 13 so we represent this set in tabular method another example if he is a set of vowel in english alphabet so we write all the vowels and we list all the vowels of the set and separating them by commas and enclosing them by them in curly bracket so we get this set in tabular form method a e i o u so this is the set of vowel in english alphabet so next uh, representation of a set is set builder method so in this method we uh, write the set by some special property and write it has this this way so in set builder method we do not list the elements um, we just uh, represent uh, we put some special property here you see a x is the element of a such that x satisfies this property p of x p of x is a some property or maybe some formula maybe uh, this so x such that x is the property px so x represents all the elements and x has some property and read it has a is a set of all elements x such that x is the property p here uh, some examples of uh, set which are represented in set builder method suppose here uh, set is given in tabular method 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we can write this in set builder method this way x so x is an element of a such that x belongs to n n means set of natural numbers such that x less than 7 here uh, 1 to 6 elements from 1 to 6 and which are natural number so we write this x satisfy this property x less than 7 and x is a natural number and another example a is a set of all even numbers lying between 1 and 31 1 to th 1 between 1 and 31 so set of all even numbers so all even numbers will between 1 to 31 and we can write this set in set builder form this way a x x is an element of a such that x satisfies this property 1 less than x x less than 31 because x is a uh, x is is a even number between 1 and 31 and we write x is a even so next uh, we discuss some types of set types of set the first null or empty or void set a set having no elements is called a null set means a set where there is no element and it is denoted by the notation this curly bracket and here the space is blank or phi where this symbol is the greek letter phi so a set having no elements is called a null set and it is denoted by Greek letter phi. Example, the set of human beings living in moon. So this is a 
this set has no element because there is no human being living in moon. So this is a null set. X such that X belongs to N and for X lies between 4 and 5. So there is a no element between 4 and 5 which is natural number. So this is a null set. The set of all prime number divisible by 2, 3, 5. So there is no prime number which are divisible by 2, 3 and 5. The set of months in a calendar is starting with the letter P. So there is a no month in a calendar which is start with the letter P. So this is a set of null set. So next, uh, next type is finite and infinite set. A set is finite if it contains finite numbers of different elements. Means uh, the elements can be, uh, we can count the number of elements then that set is said to be finite. A set which is not finite is called an infinite. So example of finite set, the set of vowels in English alphabet, here is a five letters, five vowels. So therefore this is a finite set. The set of reverse in India, this is also finite set. And examples of infinite set, the set of all points lying in a straight line. So in a straight line there are infinite number of points. The set of all stars in the sky. So in the sky there are infinite set. And n, the set of natural number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to infinity, this is also an infinite set. So next uh, is uh, types of set is subset. If every element of A, suppose we consider a set A, in every element of say, set A is also an element of set B, then A is said to be, is called a subset. And we write this as this symbol, subset, A is a subset of B, which is written as a, A is a subset of B, or A is contained in B. So A subset of B, this implies and implied by this curly bracket, X belongs to A, implies X belongs to B. When x belongs to A implies x belongs to B, then we can say that A is a subset of B. Then there is a two types of subset. One is proper subset and another is improper subset. The proper subset, if A is a subset of B and A not equal to B, then A is a proper subset of A. And we write this as a this symbol. This symbol means proper subset. The equality sign is not there. So it is a proper subset. Then in proper subset, the null set phi, the null set, already we define what is the null set. The null set phi is a subset of every set. And every set is a subset of itself. That is phi is a subset of A. And A is a subset of A itself for every set A. So they are called improper subsets of A. Thus every non-empty set has two improper subsets. So next we define universal set. If set has all its, its subset and their elements, then the set is called an universal set. Universal set is generally denoted by capital letter U. So we take a one example for universal set. Let P is a set of all prime numbers. O set of all odd numbers. E set of all even numbers. And N set of all natural numbers. So here uh, there are four sets. And here larger set is N. So we can say that N is a is the universal set because P, O, U, all the sets contain in N. So next we define uh, power set. The power set means the set of all subset of a given set A is said to be the power set A and it is generally denoted by P of A. So, uh, power, set, power set means set of all subset of a given set and it is denoted by P of A. P means power and A is set, given set. Here one formula how to we, uh, how we uh, 
find the number of elements uh, of power set for a given set. If a set A has m elements, that is n of A, here n means number of elements of A equal to m, then number of elements of power set P of A is equal to 2 to the power m. So this is the one important formula to find the number of elements of a power set for a given set. Here we take some examples. How can we find power set of a given set? Suppose here A has elements A. A has one, one element, only one element. So therefore, uh, number of elements of power set is 2 to the power 1. According to this formula, 2 to the power 1, so is equal to 2 and uh, power set P of A is equal to 5 one element will be 5 because null set is a subset of every set and the set itself if uh, and another example number 2 let A has two elements A, A and B so number of elements of P of A is 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4 and set power set is, is equal to 5 element A, element B and element AB so there are 4 elements in power set of A so here uh, some reference of this unit so you can uh, follow these books for further uh, readings and for better understanding of this concept of set so now we discuss some uh, questions, discussions of some questions. So questions one, determine which of the following descriptions represent a set. In, in case the description represents a set, write the set in table or set builder method. There are two, uh, two collections are there. Mm, one collection is collection of all natural number that are greater than two and collection of good musician of our country. So in uh, A, they are given a description represent a set because collection of natural number that are greater than 2, this collection is a well defined. And the set A, we can write this in tabular form this way, A is equal to 3, greater than, greater than 2, so 2, so 3 onwards, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 up to infinity. So it is also an infinite set. And collection of good musician of our country, does this collection is not a well defined because these collections person to person varies this collection because uh, for me uh, good musicians may be um, different collection from your collections so it will vary to person to person so these are not well defined collections so this collection is not a set question 2 a here set A have three elements A, B, C. So you have to find how many subsets P power set of power set A can have. Here you see number of elements of A is three. So power set according to this formula, if a number of elements of A has m elements, the number of power set of A is two to the power m. That formula we follow. Then P of A is equal to two cube. So eight elements is there. And power set of this set, if we take power set of this set, then we take P of P of A, then it will be 2 to the power 8, so it will be 256. So next, we take another question, question 3. So that uh, set A, set A has uh, 4 elements, 2, 3, 5, 7, is not subset of B. B is a set such, uh, X such that X belongs to N x is odd so here you see uh, 2 belongs to a elements 2 belongs to a but 2 does not belongs to b because b consists of all odd numbers so 2 is a even number but b consists of odd numbers so therefore a is not a subset of b so next uh, question number 4 so that set a so set A has uh, 
four elements three five seven eight is proper subset of B. B has uh, these elements one two three four five six seven eight nine. So we have to show that A is a proper subset of B. Proper subset means A contained in B, but A not equal to B. So here you see each element of A is also an element of B. Three five seven eight is also belongs to B. So each element of A is an element of B. So A is a subset of B. But uh, you see the elements one, two, four, six, nine belongs to B. But these elements one, two, one, two, four, six, nine does not belongs to A. So hence A not equal to B. So therefore A is a proper subset of B. So we sum up uh, today's class. So here first we define a set. So set is a collection of some well-defined objects. Capital letter of English alphabet are usually used to denote the set. The small letter of English alphabet are usually used to denote the members in a set. Then we define null set. A set which does not contain any elements is called a null set. And null set is denoted by Greek letter phi. And set uh, which contain a definite number of elements is called a finite set, other set is called an infinite set. So next we define subset. If every element of a set is also an element of set B, then we say that A is a subset of B. And we write this symbol A. This symbol means subset, subset. A is a subset of B. Which is read as A is a subset of B. And then uh, we define power set. The set of all subset of a given set is called a power set. So now we come to end of uh, end of today's class. So we in next class we'll um, meet again with unit 15. So thank you all.